Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akarkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson on December 27, 2022, at 12.51 p.m. And it says, for today's lesson of the sit-down lesson of this news article that I'm about to bring out, it says, uh, Serbian army is on standby, commanding calls off tensions of Belgrade. The armed forces are ready to protect Serbs living in the country's breakaway region, Defense Minister Melos Vucevic has said. Serbia has placed its army and police on high alert, uh, amending a tension standoff between the Belgrade and the breakaway region of Kozlov. Officials said army personnel are ready to intervene to defend the local Serb population. The president of Serbia, as the commander in chief, has ordered tonight that the Serbian armed forces be at a highest level of combat readiness, meaning the preparedness to use their army potential defense minister Melos Vucevic told the Thai, the Tanju uh, news agencies on Monday. He added that the government will ensure that all measures are taken to protect the Serbian people in Kosovo. Koslov is predominantly populated by ethnic Al Albanians, but has a Serb majority is in, in in its northern areas. Serbs has pulled its troops from Koslov in 1999 after a NATO intervention uh, surpassed, I mean, support of a local Albanian army insurgents bombing Belgrade and other Serbian cities. NATO peacekeepers have since been deployed to the region, which ultimately declared independence from Belgrade in 2008. Serbia still considers Kosovo to be part of its own territory. Tensions have been brewing in recent months as the Kosovo authorities demand that the Serbian community only use Kozlov issue license plates instead of those issued by Belgrade. The situation deteriorating further this month, which local serve erated roadblocks to protect the uh, to protect the arrest of the former police officer accused of attacking a middle's pillar. Mention uh, elections commissions officials. It says, Cost Vol Prime Minister Abin Karti has uh, called for the barricade to be taken down. It says, Belgrade acts for the NATO led K Force peacekeeping force to allow deployment of the Serbian military and police to Kosovo, according to the UN Security uh, Council of Resolution 1244, which formalized the end of the 1999 NATO bombing uh, campaign. Belgrade can send up to 1,000 personnel to protect the Serb population areas and border crossings if the request is approved by the leader of the peacekeeping force. And this is a scripture right here that I'm going to bring out with the uh, current tense because I previously did videos about it. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. Uh, is that it? Mm, no, no, no. No, let me take that back. It's a lock. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9, and it reads, But when you shall hear a commotion, uh, 
but when you should hear of wars and commotions, which we're hearing right now, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And when you should hear of wars and I'm in the bathroom using it. Mark 13 and 7, so I care about that. Uh, Mark 13 and 7 in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And when ye shall hear of wars, Salaki, and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. Mark 13 and 8, which we're seeing right now with the current situation going on in that region of um, the uh, troops on standby Serbian army with the cause law of tension situation as uh, you had protesters blocking the blockage area in that region and then there's going to be a potential call up of uh, troops, uh, personnel troops of 1,000 if it's approved if the tension escalate furthermore, you know, so that's what we're uh, hearing uh, right now, currently at the moment. This is the book of, uh, that's why I brought out the book of Luke 21 and 9, the wars and commotions in the nations uh, doing protests and stuff like that and uproars in the people of the world. So that's a reference scripture as well to the second Ezra 9 and 3, I believe. I just want to add a note to that. And this is the book of Mark chapter 13, verse 8. For nations arise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because we hear these things increasing, you know, more and more and more. You know, with the earthquakes in diverse places, the, the famines, the pestilence, the plagues, I mean, etc., you name it. And the nations rising up against nations and kingdom against kingdoms as well, too. You know, so we're we're seeing that, you know, with the up worlds and the people in the world, nations against nations, kingdom against kingdoms. And that nation against nation, as we see this right here, you know, as it says, the uh, Serbian army on standby and the cause law of tension, you know. Right to protect the uh, Serbs in a living country, breakaway region. So that's a sign of a uh, nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And then they made a point of where they recently did a uh, protest over that rally, you know, in that region. So that's the uh, uproars of the people in the world with these uh, protests and this sedition among men spirit as well, too. I just want to add that as well, too. The second answer is uh, 9 and 3. Then the second answer is 15, verse 16. That's addition among men, spirit. And that uproars in the people of the world with these uh, protestings. Because they said they was doing blockage in the area, in that region, you know. For, uh, to, you know, for the protection of the uh, Serbs, the Serbian people, you know. They potentially might deploy uh, special forces. They could be uh, deployed like up to 1,000 soldiers, special personnel soldiers. If this uh, tension escalates, you know, I believe it's kind of calm right now at the moment. But if it escalates, they will probably call up special armed forces, probably like a uh, thousand soldiers. If it's approved, they'll be most likely be deported in that region over there, you know. So with that, I uh, hope this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying on this December 27, 2022, on this uh, Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akin that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.